Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and if you've come here, you're probably looking at how easy it is to assemble your Noble Chair Legend seat and what things you may need. So, obviously, things you're going to need, everything is included in the kit, to be honest with you. There's nothing really you need extra other than, for me personally, I use my own screwdriver because the one that is included is okay, but I just prefer mine. You may need to use power tools, so I've got my impact wrench here with a M6 attachment on the end, or like an Allen key six mil so you can use that and obviously they do include instructions so it's probably a good idea to take a look at them as well but certainly have a watch of the video go through have a cup of tea see how it's all put together and then you should hopefully be more confident when assembling your noble chair legend with that said let's get on with it okay so let's start the assembly of our noble chair legend this is uh, semi-assembled already out of the box, so one of the arms is actually pre-attached already, as you can see here. Uh, I haven't done that, that is how it came out of the box, but we still do have this other arm to attach, so that is the first part of the process. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You can, of course, use the uh, included tool, or if you want something a little bit more powerful, then clearly you can use power tools should you wish to. Uh, it's pretty strong material, so you should be absolutely fine. So there's gonna be three screws or bolts that we need to loosen off. So we're gonna start with those. Uh, these are the three which need to come out. So they are uh, done up by the factory. So of course you can just loosen them off with the included tool should you wish to, but I'm gonna speed things up and use my power tool. Those are in there pretty good. So all we need to do is uh, get the arm and put it onto the other side and kind of get it lined up so you can see the holes there. And we'll get a couple of the uh, threads started by hand. Always worth trying to start the threads off by hand if you can, just to make sure they're not cross-threaded because uh, these are pretty strong. So if you do, actually cross thread it um, they probably will just cross thread through the actual seat itself I'm not too sure which one would give away first at this point you can adjust the arm to your liking so if you want to space it out more you've got a little bit of adjustment there or you can put it right away down i like my chair to be a little bit narrower so i'm going to go for the closest tolerance so i'm going to just do that up do a few screws So that is it tightened up. If you want to, you can go ahead and tighten up a bit further just to make sure. These are crush washers. So they are gonna have a little bit of extra on them. Of course, if you want to, you can use the impact and just really fast them down. So I'm gonna do that now. There, yeah, that isn't going anywhere. Now we're gonna attach the seat base. So I'm gonna put that on top and I've got the arms or this, basically that is the front and this is the rear. So the high point or where the piston attaches to, that is gonna be at the back of your chair and there's four bolts to screw in. It's pretty easy to know which bolts it is. There's actually five included, so you do get a spare one, but these are the four bolts that you're gonna to wanna to use from the accessories box to fasten down the seat base. Again, my suggestion would be to get the screws started by hand, or bolts rather, and a few turns to get it started. If you do the screws up completely, you may find that if it's misaligned, then the thread may not go in very nicely. So that is the four bolts in. So I'm just gonna tighten those up with my impact gun. Next part is to start assembling the actual casters into the base. So you've got five of these in total and each one of them goes into this uh, receptacle here. So it's very easy, just a compression fit. Just pop those in and do that on all five of the sides. 
those fit in really easy. If they don't go in first time with a little bit of pressure, take it out and try and put it back in again just to make sure it's aligned correctly. Next part is to insert the gas piston, which is like this. This is the top end, this is the base, and it just goes in. And this contoured section here where it flares out is basically a compression fit. So when it fits in, that's it, that's nice and tight. And give it a wiggle, make sure it isn't loose. If you want to, add a little bit more pressure and twist it into place. But that is uh, pretty much it. There is also this plastic strut cover, which extends upwards. So pop that on the top. And a little bit of pressure. And then when this raises, the gasket will move up with it. The next part is to actually put our assembled seat base onto this section here. So we're gonna be lining up the chair with this part here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. You may at this point, because the chair is a little bit on the heavy side, this may be better to be done with two people if you possibly can. Line up the back, line up the ball with the rod, and there we go. That's in place. You can put a little bit of pressure on it if you want to at this point, just to make sure it's fully seated and perhaps give it a full rotation just to make sure that nothing weird is happening. And that is it, that is this part of it done. The next part is really important from a safety point of view. So we're gonna be attaching the back of the seat and this is our adjustment. So inside this section, there is a very, very tightly coiled spring and this lever essentially releases that spring. Now without the seat actually being attached to this back section, this arm will shoot forward from 135 degrees somewhere to about 90 or so. So anything in its way will possibly get hurt or damaged. So heed the warning on the bar, don't pull the handle until you've got it all connected. So we're gonna put the chair in now. So we're gonna to to remove these plastic covers. These should just pull off. And if you want to at this point, you can line this one up with the one on the other side. So they're approximately the same angle, which may make life a little bit easier for you when you're lining up the seat. As with most things from Noble Chairs, they make life a little bit easier. And by doing so, they've actually attached the screws in the side of the upright. So we're gonna to need to remove those so we can put them in the right place after. Do this for both sides. So with the seat in place, we put these screws in, just again, like we did before, just a couple of screws, just to make sure that it's in the right place and lined up. And we've gone ahead and done that on both sides. So if I spin it around, you can see, we've also done it here as well. This one is a little bit off, I feel, so. Yeah, that's better. So go ahead and tighten up the screws. Don't worry if you don't tighten them up fully, you can always remove the covers after to gain access to these screws and give them a tighten up. And to be honest with you, I would suggest probably doing so after about six months if there is any signs of looseness. Something I should have mentioned a little bit earlier, actually there is inside the mechanism a, what I would refer to as a oh shit screw. So this is designed to prevent the handle from being raised. So what you wanna do is to undo the screw which is actually done up very tightly. And there is the, uh, the screw removed. So now you can actually use the lever on the side and adjust the, uh, the seat mechanism. If for some reason you wanna transport the chair, then you can just stick the screw back in, but I would keep that safe just in case. Next part is to attach the covers on the side. So these are actually handed. You can probably just about make out on the camera there. So this one says R1. So this is the right hand side. Now these have been handed so that it's designed so that when you're actually physically sat in the seat, so your right hand side would be your right hand side in the seat in position. So this is the right hand side. So just place that over to the side, get your screw. There's actually three screws included in the pack, but there's a spare. And I would probably suggest sticking the screw actually in and do that. Then put your screwdriver in to hold that in place. 
and then place it against the side. And that makes it a lot easier to do rather than juggling around with bits. I would say as well with this, don't over tighten it. So don't be using power tools on this bit. As you can see, I haven't. You will find there is a definite resistance when you get to the very end. So at that point, definitely stop. Otherwise you may damage the plastics and or the materials. So now we're gonna do the left-hand side of the seat. Again, left-hand side is depending on where your uh, buttocks are in the seat. So this is L1. So for the left hand side, again, we're gonna to attempt to do the same thing on camera, which is never easy to do. So we're gonna get the screw, put it down through. So it's actually in the receiver or receptacle. Get your cross-headed screwdriver, get it kind of holding the screw in place. And then you can kind of line it up by sight. And you should be able to get it in pretty much first time, which uh, fortunately we just did. So again, screw it in and you'll get to the end. You'll feel there is uh, a definite solid resistance when you get to the end. There we go, that is right at the very end. And that is firmly in place. And as you see, it's, it's cushioning that pretty nicely, holding it in place. Don't over tighten it, like I said, you potentially could damage the threads or the plastic, which uh, isn't the end of the world because I'm sure Noble Chairs will probably supply these as a replacement part should you need one, but yeah, you don't want to do it when you're doing your first assembly. So now we can put on our hockey puck adjusters. Now there's two of them included, obviously one for each side. And these go with the hockey puck facing forward. And they're just the compression fit, so just push them on as far as it'll go. And then spin it around and you can do the same thing on the other side. If you look actually on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is actually a kind of a, a groove. So you can match that up with the actual groove on the stick itself. And there we go. There's the hockey sticks installed. And there we go. That is the finished chair. So all you need to do now is you can install the cushions should you wish to for the lumbar support and also the headrest cushion. Um, I'm gonna have to try and get this down off my desk, which is not gonna be particularly easy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, all done, very easy to do. Pretty happy with how that's gone. And now I've got the uh, the task of actually testing it to see what it's actually like. So if you wanna see what that is like, then do check out the review video. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.